Someone is wanting to check up on you after being apart for so long. I feel this is someone who has destructive tendencies when it comes to their weaknesses because they chose something over a soulmate. I feel this is someone who is very weak to their impulsions. This energy is coming out as the king of wands in the reverse. This is fire energy. Please take it how it resonates. But I feel this energy took the wrong advice when it comes to you. I feel like this is someone who wants to check up on you, but they feel like they're no longer in the position to do so. They feel blocked. They feel like you see them as a fraud. Someone knows that something is very nostalgic when it comes to you. You're coming out as a soulmate or soul attachment. I feel this is someone who could have made a better choice concerning you, but I feel this energy took the easy way out or just fell into a crowd. Now this energy may need to ask for help. The emperor is in the reverse. Something is crumbling. There is money issues and this energy is very insecure about being left out of your energy. There's disharmony. Someone knows there's no growth. They neglected you and now they're being exposed. I feel this energy feels like they got some type of bad hand in it. A bad hand in a situation that are now wanting to fold. But they're still hiding. Something needs to be revealed about their true colors. And for many of you, you already see the truth. Wow. I feel this energy could be going through a tower moment for a missed opportunity with you. There is some type of mental illness or someone feeling crazy or distorted in some type of way. In so many ways, this is someone who wants to ask for help, but they feel like they're going to have to deal with this tower moment themselves. I feel like this energy is brain broke, mentally, spiritually, financially. Something is at a great loss. Now there's fear and doubt. I feel like this energy is going through fear and doubt because of high expectations they set for a different person or a false environment that's bringing so much anxiety to a situation because now they're blocked. This energy is blocked and feeling scattered because they were unaware and not listening. This is someone who is lacking in, in success or feeling heavily burdened. They feel like they're stuck. There's a lack of completion. Someone didn't get what they wanted from a situation and now they're starting to see the lack of structure or discipline within a false party or even a false environment. I feel like this false environment is becoming very brutal, tyrant energy of a dictator. Someone is being very dishonest with them and controlling them, trying to keep them in disregard when it comes to you. Someone is trying to keep them at a distance. Someone made a lot of broken mistakes or broken choices and now they're somewhat detached from reality. I also feel there's a disharmony when it comes to trust in this false environment or the third party. There's a lot of imbalance because someone is realizing they didn't make the right choice, yet they're still lacking in accountability. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of lies. Someone's holding back a lot of secrets because they know they were weak within the situation. This is someone who has a fear of speaking to you because they know that you know the truth. This is someone who knows they can't get over with the games that they try to play. They feel like they're unable to express what they're truly feeling. And this is why there's a lot of anxiety, nightmares. Someone's throat chakra is off. And they're dealing with some self-esteem issues. I feel this energy is over-emotional, moody, snappy even. Lacking confidence because of how they kept secrets from you. This is someone who is avoiding you in so many ways. Still trying to make sense of what is pointless or senseless. There's a lot of deceit, dishonesty, betrayal. Someone is cheating, wearing a mask. This energy is secluding themselves. Self-imposed energy of someone who definitely needs a reality check. This is someone who is caught up. Things are being blown out of proportion. Things have definitely gone too far. And something is about to be exposed when it comes to a secret lifestyle. Or things that have been said behind your back. Things are about to blow up. Yeah, this is involving someone wishing ill intentions. This is envy. Someone giving you the evil eye. This is someone who is bitter. This is not the person who is missing you. I feel it's connected to this false environment, third party energy that is also receiving a reality check. There is no more fight. Someone feels like they can't win with you. So these are energies who want to make some type of difference, wanting you to retreat, wanting you to bow down. Someone's trying to put you in a box. 
and they're refusing to compromise on it. These energies are impulsive and reckless and bringing bad fortune to themselves, yet still they're not seeing it because they have chosen money over love or material things over love. Now, they're dealing with the hasty hasty decisions they made with the chosen one. You. Yeah. Someone doesn't like the way you shine. The fact that you are ascending, you are a light worker. <laughs> and someone doesn't like that. In fact, they wanted you to be in a mood as well. I feel this energy is non-confrontational, but they're doing a lot of things behind the, your back to provoke some type of response towards you. Wanting you to be in a space of pity. This energy is very shallow, a people pleaser, trying to control the situation. Someone wants you to be in a mood. Someone is trying to affect you in your dreams. Wow. Someone doesn't want you to have the love that you deserve. The love or respect. In fact, this energy is over emotional. Easy to bring some type of hate. Someone is definitely attached to some very toxic ways. This false environment is wanting some type of validation. They are vindictive and they feel like you're easy to upset. This is why they're hiding something, keeping something a secret, knowing that you're going to seek the truth. I feel there's something that you're doing that they didn't expect. I feel like this is an energy of you not giving a damn. Someone didn't expect for you to turn your back or not react. Let's get some more energy here. Yeah. Someone didn't expect you to walk away. These are energies who doesn't want you to invest in yourself, tap into your talents. Wow. These are very jealous, envious energies who are wanting to provoke you to rebel. <coughs> Make some type of action or say something that you will soon regret because they are emotionally immature. There's no sympathy here. These energies are very bitter, repressing a lot of hate. They're very spiteful. I feel this is a group of energies that could be a family or friend based situation, but these are not your friends because I feel you walked away. Hmm. You walked away from a situation that was supposed to have you caught up, exposed, game over. Dang. Someone thought you was going to return after this separation. Someone didn't want you to win without them or someone didn't want to be replaced. Someone didn't want you to outshine them. And this is why they're spreading rumors or causing some type of dysfunction behind the scenes where their hand is heavily embedded in lies, trying to create some type of false narrative about you. But I feel someone didn't expect you to turn away. Someone didn't expect you to be the bigger person in this situation. In fact, I feel this energy who misses you, they're at a distance. I feel this energy is at a distance from you and they're starting to realize the risk they took against you wasn't even worth it. Because now everyone's talking about what you've been through and the key players behind it. The key players behind the secrets. These are energies who are rebellious without reason and causing this energy who wants to be around you to stay stuck. Stuck in a rat race. Stuck in an unhealed environment or an unhealed situation where there's a lot of family issues. A karmic partner, third party energy here who is completely jealous of you. This third party is insecure. Trying to one up you in some way. Someone is trying to get your blessing. Someone is trying to get the validation that is deserved to you. This is someone who is obsessed with powers, someone who is very destructive, criminal mindset, someone is trying to provoke an, some type of reaction out of you. This is an energy vampire who is very content with manipulating or exploiting the truth. This is someone who also plays the victim, the victim after draining or doing too much. This is someone who is still set in some type of illusion, confusion, and keeping someone attached to you lost and holding on to the past. Someone doesn't want you to have a new, you're stepping right into it. This is what is causing some type of panic. A tower moment. Yeah, someone didn't expect you to blow up. Someone didn't expect you to find your way. 
And that's creating a turmoil moment and someone is completely going through a karmic storm. And I feel when it rains, it pours for someone who is about to pay the piper. I feel there's a turmoil moment of destruction, trauma, a disaster, of loss, upheaval, shock. Someone shocked about your come up, of the fact that you were able to do something off. And someone is wanting to return and they, and they know it. Someone is going to turn back because they're going through a dark night of the soul. This is someone who has hit rock bottom knowing that they can't win with you. They can't expose you. They can't make others feel some type of way about you. This is someone who is sitting in a mental prison because they chose the wrong path. They chose a false environment. This false environment has a lot of hate for you. But they smile on your face. Even though they would like to distort your path. I feel like this energy who misses you is sitting in a place of poverty. This energy could be living with family, friends, or an ex. Now they're realizing they made a poor decision. I feel like this is someone who feels like they don't belong. There's a sense of not belonging, wanting a sense of forgiveness from you, but I feel there's also someone who is telling this energy that they will ne never receive the trust or never received the acceptance that they seek from you. Things are definitely not the same, but I also feel this energy is going through a dark night of soul where they're starting to feel like they're losing their mind. They're coming to some type of revelation about their environment or those they chose to trust over you. This is someone who's definitely going through a dark night of the soul, trying to figure it out. Someone's trying to figure out why they chose to turn their back, why they chose to do the things they did because now something cannot be undone. I feel this energy is trying to come up with a plan but they reach some type of dead end. Yeah, someone wants to communicate. Wow. Someone's wanting to communicate, but they know they missed an opportunity. Someone feels like they missed that chance. Now they're going through some type of reality check because they juggled you. Now things are no longer aligned. There's no rational reasoning for what they did. And they're sitting in some type of mental fog. A lack of ideas. Someone feels like they were misinformed about you. They should have never believed the lies. And this is what's taking them down this altered road. I feel this energy wants to reach out. In fact, there are some deleted messages. This energy also could call and hang up. There's a lot of pride here. Someone doesn't want to admit that they, they lost you because of their own ways of being their own lack of judgment this is someone who now wants to cut ties with friends or fake family members or those that should not be trusted they're feeling alone even when they're not alone i feel this is someone who wants to walk away they want to part ways so that they can grow but i feel like they're being delayed the floodgates are closed this is why there is no action but there's a lot of worry wanting to rush in but this energy feels like they won't be received well not after what they've done. This is someone who needs to do the shadow work and heal, ground themselves within a situation where they're facing a lot of trauma. This energy is coming to a crossroads. This energy is coming to a crossroads when it comes to fake, fake and phony. Acknowledging a truth, someone knows the truth is the only way out. They're seeking advice and possibly for the, from the wrong energies as this energy is coming out in the reverse. Very, very distorted. <clears throat> I feel like they're around energies who are very narcissistic, craving power, wanting you to be put in your place. But I feel someone is realizing how reckless it was to choose someone else over you. Now they're struggling. Someone could also be having issues with authority. There's a lot of despair for moving against you. Someone feels like they don't have any fight left. But they were very reckless and impulsive when dealing with you. Wow. Solitude. Lack of focus. Someone's very arrogant when they made these choices. And now they're wanting to backtrack or make some type of connection. But I feel you're in solitude trying to deal with your own issues. Someone's self-esteem is definitely been affected. They feel like they were unaware of their gifts, but you were tapping into yours. There's a lack of growth here with the Ace of Pentacles in the reverse, and someone is definitely coming to a, a reality check when it comes to a, spirit, a spiritual connection with you. Someone knows they're losing big being without you. Bad fortune.
it's coming out again Wheel of Fortune is in the reverse for money over love this is the king of uh, uh, okay so what I'm seeing here the king of wands is in the reverse yeah this is someone who should have had high standing in your life, but they told something different, wanting to please others, and now they're regretting everything. Because now they have no power in something. Something has gone too far, and someone is being malicious, blunt, angry. A poor communicator. Someone feels like they can't express their feelings. They feel like they don't know these energies as well as they thought they did. Now they're coming to a harsh conclusion feeling like they screwed something up with you and something will never be the same they missed an opportunity because of their poor choices juggling you not contacting you and staying in some type of mental fog and lying i feel there's a lot of gossip that leads to arguments someone knows they made the wrong decision because of their lack of ideas of creative energy something was blocked and this is why they're feeling crazy and going through a dark night of the soul because they're dealing with energy vampires who is only taking from them instead of putting into them because like I said before this energy took a risk where there was no reward I feel there's a lot of people here who are realizing you got the bad end of the stick but I sense in many ways you're about to come out with a big win and trust me there's a lot going on behind the scenes that you may or may not know about but it's causing many of these third party energies to feel bad for ruining something hmm. no this is this is this energy who misses you they feel bad for ruining the connection for this third party energy they got nothing out of it they feel bad for ruining something with you or ruining something for you yet i feel, feel like this energy is so overwhelmed with embarrassment as many of the things they've done or participated in or even allowed can't be undone or even forgotten as their actions and consequences and even their karma is a package deal and it seems they're getting served what they deserve let's get some more energy here holy spirit what are the messages here so there's a lot of underlying issues within this situation that need to be attended to. Someone's only, yeah, someone's being held hostage here for not putting you on a pe pedestal. So what I'm getting from that energy is someone is learning some harsh lessons for going against you. This is someone who just wants to come back in, but I feel this energy has lost their identity in this third party situation trying to fit in or trying to pretend like they don't miss you but I feel they're having some type of death and rebirth when it comes to realizing things for what it truly is I feel like this is someone who wants to love bomb you but I feel they've done too much to go back they feel like they've been swindled someone was playing a game with them and they pounced on the opportunity to play some type of discord or cause some type of misfunction between the two of you i feel this third party was trying to keep someone away from you you are the goat you are the key you are the light so someone is trying to keep you and this other energy apart they know that this energy is better with you than without you but they're not wanting to admit the fact that they are toxic dysfunctional and can't be trusted this is why they're hiding a lot of things behind the shadows wanting something to develop in a bad way for you someone wanted you to be held hostage to what things are being said things that were said or done someone's trying to affect you emotionally mentally possibly even financially these are very intrusive energies who do a lot of playing games from afar for many of you you have no contact with this energy and for a very long time these are energies who didn't want you to be put on a pedestal. Hmm. Someone also realizes you were too perfect to fail. I feel someone is very indecisive about coming your way because of what they've done, but I feel the only way to make things right is to move forward towards you. 
because you're not going to make this right. You're not going to fix something that you never broke and someone is seeing that for what it is. They're also feeling like they're in a cult. Something is strange and sinister. There's a lot of people wearing a mask in this situation, not wanting to be discovered for who they really are. Because for many of you, you're moving on. While someone is still naive to love, I feel like you're on a mission. You're on a mission because you know when dealing with this situation, there is no change. Someone is still avoiding the truth. It's wanting you to be going through some type of crisis, but you're not. Wow. I feel this affects you greatly. The fact that someone turned their back not saying your truth, but someone needed to learn something. Learn something from their harsh ways and they want to send some type of message. If this energy has reached out to you, it's very cryptic. They're not being very blunt about what they're going through. They're just being very cryptic about what they're going through. But they know that you have unconditional love. And that is what they seek from you. But I feel this energy thought that they were going to have something new and exciting. So they chose something else. Believing that you would always be there. And they could make these moves regardless of knowing that they were breaking all the rules. They took a chance. And now they're feeling burnt out. They also feel like someone toyed with them, used them to affect you. Now they're completely triggered. This energy is triggered and wanting to cut ties. But there's nowhere else to go. No one else to trust. And this is why they have yet to clean house. This is why they have yet to take action. Because they feel like they cursed themselves. This energy feels like they cursed themselves going against you. And they should have never listened to someone else. Or they should have listened to you about the stir strap. Or about someone who is trying to affect them. Just to get to you. Oh, I feel like this energy is salty. Angry. Agitated. And trying to numb the pain in various ways. Because they're dealing with a tyrant. Someone does, that doesn't have the best interest for you or them. They're just sending some type of negative energy your way. Someone wanted you to be canceled. And forgotten about. I feel like this is someone who didn't want you to exist. But I feel something is reaching its peak. This third party wanted to affect you. Someone wanted to take your place. This is why they're not wanting this other energy to come towards you. Even though they know they are stuck or bitter or in a very depressive, depressive state. But I feel this hasn't stopped them from spreading these lies about you. This third party is really coming for your neck. But as I said before, something is definitely reaching its peak. Game over. Someone doesn't even realize they've already lost. I feel this is someone who is spreading lies, slandering your name, bad-mouthing you, and still has you in some, some type of com competition that you didn't even sign up for. I feel this is someone who wanted you to feel like you were in deep and there was no way out. But this is the energy that they're in. Playing the victim. These third parties played the victim, left you on red, and tried to distort the image of you, trying to intimidate you. This is a false environment with a lot of scare tactics. Blood sucking energy of someone who was depriving you at their own expense. These are energies that you don't feel safe with. They were trying to block your mental state, your finances. This is toxic love. Someone is just thinking about themselves, but you're woke. I feel you are woke to the damage or the games that these energies like to play. I feel something that you did was very unexpected. Someone thought that you would be overly dramatic. Someone thought that they were going to provoke some type of reaction from you, whether that was verbally or through action. Someone thought that they were going to get the best from you or the best out of you. Someone wanted you to be in deep emotionally, but I feel you didn't give them the energy that they were seeking. This is why the game continues. Still trying to provoke, still trying to get a reaction. These energies are low vibrational and they've always been that way. Toxic, still competition. Yeah. 
for many of you, these are energies you've cut ties with. This could be family members or friends and others. This could be an ex that is always putting you in some type of competition that you never signed up for. This is an insatiable lust or some type of insatiable need to get a reaction out of you. But I feel in so many ways, there's a, some intense emotions here. This is someone you used to care about. They abuse their position with this insatiable thirst to bring some type of harm your way, put you in some type of mental stress. They pounced on the, the energy. They pounced on the moment to get back at you. Someone saw this energy moving or taking a stance against you as an invitation to bring more problems your way. Someone definitely wanted to affect you in the worst way, but I feel they're losing. Hmm. They're losing in every way. Something has definitely reached its peak and others can see. Others can see how deceitful this third party energy is. A cult like situation. And they were on a mission on a mission, determined to affect you. Now someone is being singled out for their strategy. Refusing to put this to rest. Someone prolonged the pain. I feel this energy who misses you, they're isolating themselves. They're trying to grasp what has been done, make sense of it, but they also feel like they're in too deep. They're in too deep when it comes to the lies. They're in too deep when it comes to this third party. They feel drained by this third party as well, as well as intimidated. They know that they are different. They know that being with you is not like being with them. There's too much drama. There's too much manipulative energy. There's too many lies. This energy feels like they chose the wrong team fabricating and telling lies while wow. slandering your name allowing others to do so if that's not their energy they allow the hate they wanted others to antagonize you I feel this is someone who allowed others to put a key in their back they allowed others to put a key in their back so that they could get a response out of you I feel this person choosing a different path is also set to affect you emotionally someone was trying to get a rise out of you someone is trying to upset you feeling that you are easily to it's it put in this energy they were on a mission they were determined to affect you but i feel like they overdid it someone did too much too fast especially when it comes to fabricating lies and telling stories about you they thought that they could finesse this situation and i feel they thought they were too big to fail these are energies who had others to co-sign their bad behaviors. I feel this energy thought that they were too big to fail, and they tried to trigger you on purpose. Now, someone's feeling used. Someone feels like they used, this third party used them to affect you. They feel burnt out. They feel stupid. Wow. Believing that they were coming into something new and exciting, someone is now burdened. Burdened for the choices they have made. I feel the energy or the pressure is mounting when it comes to someone who feels like they followed the crowd. They were being a sheep. Because everything is falling apart. Someone thought they were too big to fail. And they're failing. I feel these energies couldn't care less what they did or how they did it. But I feel the fact that they are now being called out kind of makes things different. I feel these energies don't want to be seen for who they truly are, but I feel they're being seen that way regardless. I feel these a lot of these are a lot of energies who have a lot of ego. There is a lot of inflated energy here where there is someone leading a pack in the wrong direction. Leading others against you, but I feel when they were not being called out, they could care less on how they treated you. Now you're living rent-free in their mind, their head. They're trying to get around the fact that you got out of this or you didn't fall like they thought that they that they would provoke. Hmm. Because someone is wanting to run back to you. Someone knows that you are loyal in every way. But they are not. Because they betrayed you. Someone betrayed you for the smoke and mirrors of a situation where there's a lot of inflated egos. I feel like this energy thought you can only live once. And they took a leap. They took a leap in the wrong direction, even though they know the unconditional love you gave was nothing to play with, yet this energy played with it instead, because they let others put a key in their back. This energy allowed others to create this toxic mindset about you. Now, this energy regrets being hot and cold, 
violating you, violating the trust for the smoke and mirrors of a third party situation. Because now there's a clear divide, a separation, a divorce. Something is poetic justice. So I also feel there's a divorce concerning this third party energy. Someone is cutting the ties even though it is all they feel they have. Someone feels like without you there's nothing. They should have never been strategic. They should have never betrayed you because now they want to come back. But I feel them being delayed or distracted is poetic justice, retribution for what they've done because now they have excessive baggage that has got some type of hold on them. It's weighing them down. I feel the lies, the scamming, the deceit. It's all weighing them down. They feel like this third party is, is a complete scam. It's not who they presented themselves to be. And I feel over time, they were able to see the mask. The mask of everyone falling off. Something became bittersweet. A bitter pill to swallow. Because someone was definitely being irresponsible while playing with you. Oh, wow. Someone feels like you're very magnetic. They feel like someone financially used them. Someone is also trying to copy you or mimic you in some type of way and it's just not working. You are the divine feminine they seek. Wow. They're attracted to you and someone feels like someone's a smooth talker and they're naive when they come to finances someone feels financially strapped they're pinching pennies something's not added up i feel someone was also stealing and i feel someone feels they stole something from you they're laughing no someone wanted you to be rejected someone wanted you to be on the outside looking in not wanting you to be stable someone wanted you to be lost addicted homeless Someone gaslighted you to get a reaction. Now they feel like you're not even bothered. <laughs> you're not even bothered by the clickbait. Someone knows that you have unconditional love, but they didn't send a message. They didn't reach out. Instead, they gave into this third party and allowed this third party to play with you. Thinking something was too big to fail, they thought that they were on the right team. So they betrayed you, believing what they were trying to do was going to have some type of reward thinking they you only live once someone fell into a situation that was only smoke and mirrors someone's realizing they got played while trying to play you because these games that they played they got nothing for it nothing but heartache a bad reputation for playing with you because something cannot be undone there's a lot of things that were done in the process of trying to affect you and someone knows they can't take it back someone knows they have to tell the truth of what's been done and what's been said because without it you won't never trust them again this is someone who wants back in they're trying to cut the ties that bind them but I feel it's way harder than they thought it would be this energy is wanting to send a message but they're also trying to figure out a way to be loving or not say too much they regret on the fact that they allowed others to affect you or pounce on you or try to attack you in some type of way because something was a big fail. Let's get some more energy here. Let's get some other messages here. So this third party is coming out as a big fat liar. Someone knows that they this third party lied to them on purpose. They see the difference now. They didn't see it then, but they see it now. But I feel things have gotten so out of hand. Things went so far. They feel like nothing can be recovered because of you see them as a fraud, a professional ghoster. I feel this person, it's not the first time that they did this, took a stance against you, but I feel this time was different. I feel this energy did a lot of things intentionally, trying to antagonize you, trying to provoke you, or make you feel distorted. Someone wanted you to feel like you're losing your mind or losing control, and someone thought that they could box, box you in by creating a narrative about you or adding others to the situation. There's a lot of gossip, but I feel if they would have looked a little closer, they would have known it was dangerous to play with you. 
I feel these energies try to antagonize a situation where there's a lot of underlying issues. These issues are pertaining to their standing, how people see them. There's a bad reputation for this third party and others are starting to call them out. I feel others are starting to call them out on their toxic love or how they are pouncing on you or double teaming or being a bully towards you. I feel these are energies who are on, only prolonging the pain, only pro prolonging the dysfunction, allowing this energy to turn their back on you. Someone has affected themselves in the process. Someone should have saw this coming, but someone didn't think that you were going to react in the way that you did because they are full of lies, games, and manipulation. You walked away with your pride, your peace, your sanity. I feel someone wanted to distort you in a way that made you fold or fall in line, but I feel something's different about you. And I feel you've always felt you couldn't trust, but you compromised anyways, believing something would do better in the end. Hmm. But someone failed, failed in a very big way. You know, these are self-centered energy. They have no real reason to hate you. But these energies are so gung-ho on trying to affect you because of their own insecurities, their own losses, or the fact that they got nothing out of this life, that they're trying to bring you some type of misery. <laughs> Entrepreneur, for some of you, you're coming up in a big way. You're coming up in a big way, and someone is not wanting you to win. Outshine them. Someone is coming out as a false energy who is trying to demoralize you. In fact, this energy is gossiping, talking a lot of things behind your back, trying to assassinate your character. This distorted energy here, they're starting to see it. They're starting to see how manipulative this third party or false environment truly is. Someone is talking about you behind your back and also being cryptic about it. And this distorted energy who has isolated themselves, they're starting to look closer. They're starting to look closer at the underlying issues of a situation and the difference between being with you and being with them. This is someone who knows there's a lot of mind games going on here. And there's a true thin line between love and hate. Someone is realizing they should have given the love. They should have given the love that you they know that you deserve and they should have never chosen something else over you because now they see how this third party is trying to demoralize you or put you in some type of position where no one trusts you because they're not sorry about being two-faced. Okay, so it seems like this person is not sorry about being two-faced this distorted energy who is crazy about you, who feels like they're losing their mind, they're starting to see how two-faced this third party or third or false environment truly is because they're holding a grudge. And they used them to do it. This third party is trying to set fires, trying to create some type of narrative about you to demoralize you, get others to see you in a different light. Someone wants you to be kicked to the curb, homeless, on the streets, a loser. Someone wants you to feel insecure. Someone wants you to have mental issues or mental stress behind this situation of what they think they took from you. But I feel this energy is having some type of panic attack. Someone is going through a lot of stress because something didn't work. You're not losing. You're not mentally stressed and you're not kicked on the street. I feel the most high is guiding and protecting you in every way. And someone is about to get a taste of what it's like to be in cahoots or on the wrong path with those that can't be trusted. Because you're focused on self. You're coming into a new. And you have no regrets about it feel like you did something with no regret when it comes to someone who is two-faced and lawless, envious, and giving you the side eye. Because you broke free. You broke free from the fake. The fake, the phony, the drama, people wanting you to be insecure, people talking about you, trying to distort a narrative or play some type of narrative when it comes to you. I feel someone wanted you to be ghosted. Someone wanted you to be canceled, locked out, distorted. 
someone didn't want anyone to believe anything that you had to say. They tried to attack your character in so many ways for so long, it's become a game to them. And even though they know they're losing, and they're losing big, they have still yet to fall back or stop playing these senseless games with you. But I also feel them being a fraud, it's about to come to a head. As I said before, something has reached its peak. And they don't even know the game is over. I feel this distorted energy who is crazy about you. They want your attention. They want your attention now that they feel you have options or is no longer bothered. And I also sense the games and strategy of this third party or false environment is starting to get more disrespectful, bolder, bolder by the minute, as their intentions is to cause some type of divide, not wanting you to feel loved, respected, or idolized. Someone doesn't want you to have a chance to outshine them, outdo them. these are energies who may be in some type of secret rivalry or competition I feel like these are energies who are always looking for a reason to hate whether it be with you or someone else this environment has proven to be toxic dysfunctional very careless when it comes to hurting or attacking but I feel they're also always a victim in every narrative they create. And since you don't have a, a, a toxic flock like they do, they made you a target, not realizing throwing you to the wolves would only result in you leading the pack, coming back stronger than ever before. You know, these energies are coming out as false energies, people who cannot be trusted. You're standing in position to and acquire a blessing for your faith not letting others distort you mentally physically spiritually i feel you are being rewarded for not breaking not allowing someone to tear you down or break your faith you gotta break your faith with the gossip someone is wanting you to be unemployed or stuck out someone was definitely trying to finesse a situation this is someone who has a very strong dislike for you, even though they're motivated by you. Someone is wondering how you do it. How do you come? How did you come out of this? Why are you not distorted? Why are you not lost? They're gossiping. Someone's trying to be nosy. There's a lot of gossip here. There's a lot of talk. There's three gossip cards out here. Someone trying to finesse a situation by being two faced. This is someone who smiles in your face. It makes moves behind your back. They know that you are different. They know that you stand out. They don't want others to see that. They don't want others to put you on a pedestal. Someone is not wanting to be outshined by you. And this is why they're always trying to distort you with their toxic ways. Trying to send you evil hate. Something has been returned and told. I feel someone didn't see something coming. You learning or growing in a different direction without them. Someone is wanting to keep you in a box. Someone is not wanting you to find your way. But I feel regardless of that, you have found your way. Masculine energy here is realizing the haters are going to hate. Someone is pinching pennies and very jealous about you. This is weirdo energy. Somebody's being real, really weird about their jealousy, their hate, because there's no just, justification for it. I feel these energies are going through some type of financial struggle. They're pinching pennies. Someone may be losing their house or giving, getting some type of um, eviction. This is why they're being weird with others because nothing is working out for them. I feel like this energy is carrying hate because you're moving forward regardless. You're brushing something off and not sitting in a place of revenge. You could care less. For many of you, you already know that you are divinely guided and the Most High is about to make moves for you instead. Someone is holding revenge, trying to swindle the situation, but um, you've already lost interest and they didn't expect that. 
Someone didn't expect you to turn your back and not react. I feel you not reacting to this situation and losing interest in someone trying to swindle or play games with you has only put you in a position to grow. This is a major blow up for someone. You're realizing haters are going to hate. You're moving forward regardless. I feel many of you are stepping into your richest rags, the richest energy here. This could be a new change, home, car, environment. This could also be financial come up. I also feel this could also be clarity. Please take it how it resonates because someone wanted you to be paranoid, vulnerable seeking some type of validation but i feel you turned your back and leveled up in so many ways that they're dumbfounded they're shocked that something didn't take you down because they're sitting in a space of misery these energies are miserable wanting to spin the block someone's wanting to be a part of your success because they're in crisis but i also feel what goes around definitely comes around because whatever you did was on target and you know this situation could only be risky business for you. People are now realizing that you are the missing piece, not the other way around. I feel you were never meant to be taken down by this, but actually influenced by someone who has a lot of hate for you. You're moving in different ways. I feel you turned your pain into power. That is what they didn't expect. Someone didn't expect you to turn your back on this hate. They thought that you were going to play right into it and give them a taste of your your energy or your harsh tone. Now the stress. Because you could care less. You're glowing up, you're moving forward, and you're not pinching pennies anymore. And they don't like the fact that they're, they're not a part of the success. They are stressed because you see them as two-faced, trying to finesse, even though you can see. They're a huge liar. For some of you, this third party is sitting in a space where they feel like they can get away with something strategically by telling lies about you. These pathological liars are stressed out and receiving the karma they sent to you. These are energies who always have hate, as I said before. These are energies who are looking for any reason to be hateful, jealous. But I feel whatever they have done whatever you have accused them of they're guilty but they're still pointing fingers at you but it's only going to lead them to a scarcity of abundance coming your way and playing these games and keeping secrets will only keep them delayed their karma is stacking up um, someone is definitely trying to set some fires in your life wanting you to feel like you've taken a big loss by taking something from you but as i said before you are the missing piece not the other way around uh, these are energies who thought that they were going to get away with something never thought that you were going to come back leading the pack but i feel you broke free from the fake and you're no longer dealing with the mind games or distorted energy who is simply false Stop trying to create some type of narrative about you. They betrayed you. Only thinking of themselves, they're holding a grudge, trying to de demoralize you. Someone wants others to see you in a very dark way. Someone wanted you to be mentally stressed, going crazy behind something that they feel they took from you. But I feel you gave a different energy and they didn't expect that. Someone didn't expect you to win in the way that you are winning. I feel these are energies who are stuck in the past or stuck in loss. Still not realizing playing these games are getting them nowhere. Let's get some more energy here. Um, someone is realizing something is an epic fail. Oh. <laughs> stuck in this this triangle, someone regrets playing a game or being stuck in the middle because they know they created a lot of dysfunction. As I said before, someone is deeply in some type of toxic state of mind because they know they ruined something with you or for you. Now they see you as the missing piece because they know they abused their position, they abused their power. Now they're watching from the outside, looking in, curious about you, wanting to make an offer. And they are reflecting. And the more they reflect, they miss you. 
This is someone who is truly crazy about you. They regret giving in to this third party who they now see has a lot of hate for you. Misplaced hate. Now they're curious. So curious that they want to make an offer. They want to make an offer and come out of this place with this third party. But they feel like you're going to see it as a move or a play. Because you've come up. Now they're just creeping. Watching from afar, waiting for an opportunity because they feel like you turned your back, possibly for good. These are energies who are talking about you and you are unbothered. You know that you hold the power and you know that you put all the energy that you could into the situation. I feel you were trying to be optimistic and try not to see something for what it was. You thought someone would clearly stop by now, but I feel these energies have taken this too far. There's a history of someone playing these games with you. But as I said before, they should have looked closer. They should have paid more attention to how they were trying to play or the fact that they were losing. But someone didn't want to acknowledge the fact that, that they were going to make something worse for themselves playing these games. They just felt like it's gone so far. Why look back now? Now you've become the missing piece. There's a group of energies here wanting to make an offer, but they're coming out in, as imposters. People who have some very bad habits. Uh, someone's trying to ignore you or ignore the fact that what they took from you was lawless. I feel these are energies who wanted to rob you of something, create loss. Physically, emotionally, someone didn't want you to be idolized. Someone didn't want you to get the love and respect uh, that you deserve. So they're trying to take your place or they're trying to take the reward. This is why they're tripping on you. Someone has a lot of hate, misplaced hate, even though they know they're curious. They're trying to intimidate you. These are threatening. We all, these are energies who feel threatened by you. Wanting you to be bothered. Someone is bullying you. They're bullying you. <sighs> These are spiritual haters who is trying to dig up something on you. Or make up something about you. They're trying to create vices for you. Trying to force some type of control through scare tactics. Manipulation. Lies. Rumors. But I feel in many ways, many of you just dust it off. You know your truth. You're not letting this energy distort you in any way. You've moved on. Now someone is dealing with their own ego. So many ways here. I feel like this energy feels emasculated by you. Someone feels like you're trying to hurt them. This is why they're trying to hurt you. Only because you bruised their ego. By telling the truth or standing in yours. Now they're receiving some karma. This is karma from on another level. I feel this energy who has a very low IQ is the one that's missing you. They feel like this third party played them and they should have never allowed it to, allowed the third party to put a key in their back. Because this third party is it's ruthless. They're getting bolder by the minute when it comes to affecting you or trying to affect them. Someone's starting to see the truth, but there's no way out. This is why they feel like they need to make an offer towards you. But they feel like you're going to see them as a fraud, an imposter, because they abused their position before. Why wouldn't they do it now? Do you feel like they may be trying to come around because of the changes in your life? But I feel in so many ways, you are truly the missing piece here. This distorted energy, they see the truth. They just saw it too late. Now they want to kiss up. Make it better. They want to kiss your butt. But I feel like this energy is still wearing a false mask. They're trying to put on a narrative that they're not happy. Because they don't want you to feel like they're coming back because of their misery. But they're faking it. They're faking their happiness. And this energy has a very low IQ. And the third party took advantage of that. The third party took advantage of the fact that this other energy was clueless to their manipulative ways now they're wanting to make an offer because they know this third party is abusive and imposter there's a lot of addictions here toxic in energies here someone's connected to the toxicity scare tactics so this energy is realizing there's a lot of bad karma because these these third parties are trying to ruin something they're wanting to move 
They want to move on. But they feel like they don't have a lot of options or things to choose from. This is why they're wanting to make an offer towards you. But I feel like this energy feels like there's too much damage between the two of you. And they're going to have to come in with more than an apology. They owe you that. Someone didn't see you dusting something off, moving on, and not being affected by this. And someone also thought that you were going to be affected by what they're going through. And since you're not, they have isolated themselves, trying to figure something out. This energy is trying to come up with a plan on how to give the respect that you are owed. Hmm. Wow. Someone knows they missed a big opportunity with you playing these games or trying to get a reaction. I feel this third party or this group of people are definitely holding a grudge, trying to keep the drama going. I feel these energies are trying to keep the drama going because they're unhappy. Happiness haters. They're hating on you in every way. They're holding a grudge, not wanting you to have your happiness. And for many of you, your light. Your light irritates their demons. Wow. This is why they're moving in silence, being reckless when it comes to you and talking a lot of stuff. They're talking in ways they know that will ruin your reputation or change the idea that others have about you. But they didn't count on the fact that their reputation would be destroyed instead. I feel these energies that are now realizing they can't hold this grudge forever. But I feel they're triggered. I feel these energies are triggered by your light and the fact that you're unbothered. You don't care what they say. You're still moving forward. And I feel they're in their head about it. I feel these energies are simply confused at the fact that you're unbothered or they couldn't make these changes or keep you triggered. I feel for a moment here, they almost had you. Someone had you in your feelings, you were confused and trying to figure something out until you realized it wasn't even worth your time because these energies were going to be reckless regardless of what you did. Whether it was positive or negative, someone was always going to create some type of narrative that makes you the villain. This is another reason you could be moving in silence and growing in many ways. People are not really sure what you're doing, but they're afraid because they know when you go ghost, something big is going on. I feel these energies want the facts. So they make shit up. They never have facts. I feel this is what's wasting the time. There's no change. But these energy is not realizing that they're limited because of the, the hate they carry. You're unfazed and they're blocked. I feel rejection is your protection. These energies rejected you. You feel some type of way about it, but you eventually realize it benefited you. This is a sigh of relief for you because now someone is upset, crying over you. Wow, someone's crying because they know they played themselves. Something is played out. You see the truth. You know your worth. You know what you put into this. And someone can't deny that. Someone can't deny that you should be in position, put on a pedestal. And they're a wolf in sheep's clothing. These are energies who feel like they could create some type of narrative. They're coming out as karmic friends, karmic families, karmic energies that should have had position. But now they're dealing with a lot of tension, secrets, lies. I feel like in this situation, a lot of people are turning on, on each other. Wolf in sheep's clothing, people pretending to be something that they are not. These energies are very ruthless and annoyed by your success, your growth. The fact that you are not easily triggered or bothered by them. But I also feel hmm, this energy who misses you. The one that knows they took the wrong path. They know they left you for the wrong environment. They're depressed. They're depressed and everyone can see it. As I sense something you did or refused to do changed everything. Hmm. And since this false environment couldn't get the reaction they wanted from you, they resulted to this gossip. This is why I'm seeing the gossip card everywhere and someone is hating on your light and trying to slander your name. I feel these energies are trying to slander you to isolate and demean you as they have no intentions of making something right. I feel like these energies feel like there's no second chances. You already know the truth. 
these energies move against you just to create some type of narrative try to drive you crazy but i feel it's only been given in return these energy feels like they've taken a big loss but they're still playing these games i feel these energies are also recruiting others to stand against you believing it's easier to just stick to the plan stick to the script and play the victim these energies want to play the victim rather than be accountable for their misplaced anger and jealousy yet this false environment will never this energy these energies will never truly acknowledge the things they know they've done to you they will never truly acknowledge how their actions and their words were very harmful yet they're about to find out these energies are about to find out every choice made against you it's going to have to have heavy consequences whether they like it or not because in this scenario you didn't lose them they lost you they lost you in a very big way and this is why someone is wanting to make an offer that you may see as a dirty offer something that cannot be trusted because of someone's lawless energy and for some of you somebody want a handout they see your abundance they see that you have a foundation someone may want to stay with you or receive something whether that is forgiveness or money someone is wanting to make an offer so that they can gain i feel this is something you're not interested in because you're stepping into your power coming into a new light you're a queen or king in rising you're too busy you're too busy winning you're too busy being why they're obsessed losing access losing cars losing homes losing connections this energy is afraid of your come up someone's having nightmares they're unable to sleep because of trying to create some type of narrative wanting to win at all costs i feel these energies are losing sleep because of the fact you fed up over it you were not in trouble someone wanted you to have trouble with the law someone wanted you to receive some type of harsh judgment please take it how it resonates but i feel it's the same old thing different day these are energies who are clout hungry or wanting to affect you in many ways but i feel they're the ones being rejected not you because they're the ones seeking to come back these energies are wanting to be around you wanting to be attached to you but i feel they think your head is in the clouds they're broke bankrupt mentally spiritually emotionally and they're haunted by the fact that you're moving on i feel these energies thought they were being the boss they were over you in some type of way better than you in some type of way child services is involved please take it how it resonates but someone is definitely watching you but you, you know they ain't about what they talking. They blocked. Wanting to force their way in. They're a spiritual hater. Still trying to threaten you. But they're only wasting time. Because in the end, they're the ones that's going to be chasing you. These are energies who are trying to look you up, gather more information. Knowing they are trying to steal your thunder. These energies are coming out as munchers. <laughs> Someone has some very bad parenting skills here. Please take it how it resonates, but someone is mentally incarcerated, self-imposed situation where someone knows they lost a chance. So I definitely feel these energies know they lost a chance. So this is why they're sticking to the script, still not changing their lawless ways. Someone's still trying to get evidence against you. Someone doesn't want you to marry. Someone doesn't want you to come closer. Someone doesn't want you to find out more. They're flexing, believing they won this situation by bullying you, by being fake with you. But there's some underlying issues here that you're not aware of. Someone is definitely losing big, whether it comes to health, career, finances, or home. Something is falling apart, and they're curious about you. Curious if you could help, but they're still trying to dig up dirt making fake accounts and and still trying to distort the low vibrational or low iq energy who needs you i feel this energy is wanting to kiss up just to distort something about you but you've moved on you've moved on in ways they will never even understand i feel this is definitely something that is beneath you 
and this is why you see something as a dirty offer this is an offer that that could have been made way before now this is why you don't respect the energy especially when someone is coming in cryptic still not telling the truth still not expecting you to win but you are I feel you being rewarded for your patience or the fact that you had to do something in a different way you had to be the adult in this situation where someone was just doing too much and they were doing too much on purpose these energies are definitely coming from left field trying to create some type of narrative about you but as I said before they didn't realize that you were the one <laughs> now they know someone wanted you to be a pushover someone just wanted you to ignore the red flags someone wanted you to feel unlovable and have abandonment issues someone wanted you to have abandonment issues due to past wounds someone wanted someone else to take a while to come back someone wanted you to question someone's loyalty they thought you were going to be a pushover and feel like a loser unlovable breaking you causing you to come their way someone didn't want you to see the red flags or call them out now they feel trapped by the decisions that they made because you're not a pushover you're not letting this slide you see them for who they are someone is toxic reckless and motivated by the wrong energy when it comes to you you're fed up you're fed up with someone trying to take something from you because these energies feel they are entitled this is why they've made these moves they just never thought you would block them because they're still talking shit these energies are still talking about you hoping to affect you someone's over abusing something trying to do their research on a situation this is why someone is waiting waiting for an opportunity because they're still driven by mistakes they're still driven by lust there is no loyalty when dealing with this ener energy for many of you whoever this is you left behind they're lurking they're lurking in the shadows still doing too much because they're immature following the wrong crowd because they feel like that's all they have left I feel these third party energies are faking their happiness but something has already been exposed they're stuck behind a false identity or a mask trying to test the boundaries with you this energy is coming out as a pathological liar and someone who never tells the truth regardless if it's with you or someone else someone is never telling the truth wow in fact i feel this energy is very aggressively defensive knowing they are talking ill about you someone is very immature repeating patterns but they didn't realize that you would turn your back find a way out i feel like these are dark attachments or dark energies here I feel these energies who turn their back on you trying to get a reaction is definitely attached to something dark because they're trying to trigger you. They're trying to trigger you and cause some type of destructive energy. But I feel this energy is wasting time playing the martyr, playing the victim, and pretending to be blinded by truth. I feel these are energies who are fighting at all costs, trying to win some senseless war with you instead of trying to make it right reconcile with you because they definitely want your attention i feel these are influences that are outdated in the way of thinking and very consumed by their emotions these are energies who are trying to force control or orchestrate something when it comes to you they're keeping secrets that will only lead to a dead end i feel these energies are talking and still not giving up a fight because they're consumed with how others see them someone is consumed by something that is keeping them lost never satisfied and disconnected someone thought you were going to try to fix this you are the light and i feel in many ways you could find a way to make something worth being around but i feel you're just tired you know you want more 
and they're not giving it to you. These are energies who thought you were going to be consumed by the energy of love or having something, but you instead took the path to heal. Now there's a, a serious sense of depression coming over these energies who are wanting you to lose faith because they're vulnerable. But with you, it's out of sight, out of mind. For many of you, you don't even let these energies pass through your mental space. You feel safer in solitude while these energies are financially bound, strapped, concerned about whom. Hmm. So someone is wanting to come out of this third party control. They feel like a puppet. They don't like the fact that the both of you are on the wrong page, but they're feeling like they played themselves when dealing with energies who are just trying to manipulate something. They want to meet up with you. This energy who cares about you, but it's very distorted. They're wanting to secretly meet up, but I feel you're doing nothing in secret with someone who is immature because this is faded for a reason. Someone is wanting to draw you in, but they pull some type of disappearing act with you, leaving you to question everything that they've said or done in the past. Wanting to seek some type of independence, they chose the wrong people. Now they feel blocked. Someone feels blocked out from being with you. Even though they're watching everything, looking for some type of opportunity, they're replaying the past and realizing how deceptive everyone in this truly is. They're dealing with the cloudy judgment. They're dealing with the fact that they were hot and cold with you. Because now they're bitter and salty. Because they feel played. Someone has explosive rage going through a dark night of the soul and fearing closeness, intimacy. There is no relationship working out for this person who is immature. There's a lot of immature vibes when dealing with this energy who is completely lost. I feel this energy has played a lot of games in the past, but this is different. They feel like you just won't accept them back for after what they've done. There's a lot of tainted energy here where someone is left confused. Still trying to motivate themselves. Still trying to seek the truth. I sense in many ways the people involved in this situation can clearly see things have gone too far. And those who once looked away or didn't want to be in the middle are now getting involved or stirring the pot. As I see conflict, tension, arguments, I feel these arguments are concerning you. And it's also causing many of these players to jump ship or backtrack from the things that they have said. Someone is clinging. They don't like the fact that they got left behind for making you wait. This is why they're lurking in the shadows. Hoping that you finally reach out or have some type of sympathy towards them. But that's not what you're feeling. You don't like the fact that this energy abandoned you for this false energy. You knew someone was trying to affect you emotionally. But the someone didn't listen. They didn't listen and they cling to something that was definitely not good for you or anyone else. I feel these lost energies are faking their happiness. Faking some type of achievement. Someone's definitely in competition with you, but I feel you're fed up and moving away. There's no more losses when it comes to this situation. I feel you're abandoning this as well. There's too many past wounds. There's too many things done here that can't be overlooked. I feel you're no longer looking over the situation. You're unbothered. You can't be bothered if you're going to seek a new abundance, a new beginning. I feel you had to put this behind you. Regardless of what someone else wanted you to feel, you had to find your way. And I feel this is what's making others think twice or feel some type of way about what you're coming into. Because they can't orchestrate the situation anymore. Someone thought that they were taking the narrative or spinning a narrative about you and others were believing it when in fact they were not someone others just didn't want to be involved in this mess and trust me it is a mess this is a mess because these third party energies who are trying to orchestrate something but know they are completely unhappy are also very insecure and these insecurities will bring a painful ending these are energies who are worried about home and wanting to keep you on edge or I feel these energies are worried about themselves and still projecting and they're on edge trying to project their own issues these are energies who are always stressed out full of drama 
full of dysfunction and always choosing the material things of life over truth, love, and respect. Someone could be with a gold digger or someone who is always in some type of drama, bringing stress to a situation where someone is acting innocent, but they are always connected to betrayal, lies, deceit. These are energies who are stuck on the past, the past that was connected to you as well as the past that has failed them. Someone is dealing with a failed life or a failed connection and someone is wanting you to feel that pain. This is why they're projecting on the edge, wanting you to feel the stress. And they're hiding their true motives. These energies hiding their true mo motives have taken something down a very dark path because these are energy vampires who are trying to deplete you, drain you, take your peace. These are dark influences. These third parties... They don't care who they hurt. These are people who are left in a space of misery. Things didn't work out for them in life. And now they're trying to look down on you. Pretending to have a life that they are projecting or trying to put out there. But this is these are energies who are clueless and acting a fool. Make a, making a clown of themselves. Believing they left you out in love when they are the ones left out triggered and facing their inner demons. These are energies who are acting delusional, acting like they never did anything to you, when in fact they're talking a lot, creating division and creating problems, and they're starting to get tangled up in their own lies. I feel this is a very overwhelming situation where there's a lot of evidence against them, but they're still playing the martyr. They're still playing games as if they never did anything at all. And they're fighting at all costs, even though they're losing. Some are still not giving up this fight, trying to affect you. Being hot and cold, indecisive, and someone you truly don't even trust. Someone has tested the boundaries with you for the last time. I feel these are energies who never tell the truth. And you're not even looking forward to that. You've turned your back because someone is always repeating the same mistakes and being very defensive about it. These are energies who are very defensive about dark attachments or the fact that they have the tendency to be very destructive. Which has only put them in a space to waste a lot of time pretending to not know the truth. These energies are consumed with appearances and how others see them as well as their emotions. But I feel these energies are dealing with some outdated ways of thinking. Something is a, a losing game and they still don't see it. They don't want to see it. This is why they're sticking to the script. Still playing a dirty game where they feel like in the end they are bound to win. But I feel they were bound to lose. I feel these energies are faking their happiness because nothing is going right in their life. And they want nothing to go right for you. I feel these energies are still sitting in a space where they feel like you're being affected, but somehow, some way, you're finding your way. Let's get one more deck, and I'm going to let you guys go. Of course, if you are enjoying this reading, please let me know by commenting down below or liking this video. Let's get some more energy here. Let's get some energy here, Holy Spirit. Thank you. Bad parenting is coming out here, so someone is definitely abusing their energy, abusing their power within a situation. They're lurking, lying, but something is finally changing. Something is changing because you've changed. Oh, someone can't decide, but they know they gotta move. They know they gotta do something different because something has just gone too far. I feel these are energies that you only saw the good in. You wanted to see the good in this situation until you didn't. I feel these are energies who are now seeing something for what it is. They couldn't take something from you. But I feel someone is also undecided. Someone is wanting to tell you something, but they feel like you're going to be very emotional about it. Someone wants to tell you, you were right. Someone wants to tell you, you were right and they were wrong. Because now that they see a truth about something, they feel like... You'll never see them the same. Someone feels like you won't let them back in. So they're starting to make a plan. Someone's 
starting to make a plan to come back in. Someone's wanting to come back home. Someone's wanting to come back into the connection. But they're just hoping it's not too late. Someone wants to ask for help. This could even be financially, but I feel this energy is knowing they want, they shouldn't have their hand out even though they need you. I feel like this energy is keeping something private. Someone is not telling the truth about something. But they know they screwed this up. They're struggling to try to make sense of what's going on. They feel like they need closure. They, they regret walking out, ghosting you. Because now they're the one needing the closure and you're unbothered, they're blocked, and they're worried. Someone is now seeing that all of the times that they lashed out on you for speaking the truth, they're starting to hate the silence. Wow. They regret it. Someone is now seeing they should be careful what they wish for. Because they know they shouldn't have said the things they did. They shouldn't have done the things they did. Because it's third party or the sparse environment is very calculating. They feel like they can't stand a chance. Like they can't win. They feel like a puppet. Someone who is wanting to take a step back and find some sense of closure, but they feel like someone's too connected to the toxicity. They feel like they're, they're in too deep because they were easily fooled. Uh, so I definitely feel someone thought that you were going to be easily fooled by a situation, but you were smarter than that. I feel like you were smarter than that and you are stubborn. And someone is realizing you're not moving. You're not budging. In fact, you're taking a step back. Not a step forward towards them. You're not coming back. For many of you, you are protecting your space. You are protecting yourself. You are protecting your energy. And someone thinks you're crazy. You're, you're crazy for taking a stance. They feel like you are insane thinking you can stand against them and everyone that they have brought against you. But I also feel these other energies either intentionally fell for it or they had no clue what type of game that they were involved in. Because there are a lot of people here who are not with this. So their energies here are who are starting to see things your way. Wow. Because you're standing up for yourself. And these energies are starting to see the fact that you're standing up for yourself. People are trying to make it seem like you're crazy. You're the one that started this mess when you didn't. For many of you, you feel like this just can't be fixed. Because these energies hate to hear the truth. And the more you speak the truth, the more people are trying to distort your image or make you feel like you're not protected or you're not respected. Something is just, it's getting worse. I, as I said before, this third party energy, they feel like they're too big to fail. This is why they're getting bolder in their actions, pretending like they're winning. This energy is not paying attention to the losses. Everything that they have lost in regards to trying to put hate on you. Because everybody's rolling their eyes. They think this is senseless. They have no real reason to hate you or try to bring you down. And it's just obvious. The hate is for no reason. And everybody's over it. The family's over it. The friends are over it. There are energies here who are just like tired of the mess. Because everybody can see their true colors. It's obvious. Nobody's feeling it. I feel like there's a lot of hard lessons to learn. And something is definitely up and you feel it. Because there's trouble ahead. I feel there could be trouble ahead because someone is wanting to come back. In fact, they're going to come back. Someone's going to come back crying and manipulating. This could be the third party energy or this energy who was fell into the twisted ways, allowing others to put a key in their back. Uh, someone's definitely isolating themselves, hoping that you see something or hoping that you see that they're no, uh, no longer attached to this group. But I feel they're also lost and confused at what to do next. I feel this is someone who is crying. 
and this third party is still trying to manipulate uh, someone's wanting this deep conversation someone wants to connect but I feel the wires are crossed because this third party is pretending like they didn't do anything nothing happened and this is what's making trouble because someone's not acknowledging something someone's not telling the truth but I feel they're doing more than they say they are these energies cannot be trusted and you gotta be careful I say that because you got a real big heart and sometimes when people can say the right things just to get some type of emotion I feel you maybe set some type of boundary just to make peace but these energies don't care nothing about boundaries any way that they can get in to screw you over they will they're saying they're not but I feel these energies cannot be trusted you gotta stay 10 steps ahead because these energies are truly shallow lacking value and depth they're just creating more bad karma for themselves which is adding up by the day because they're up to no good these are energies that cannot be helped in so many ways these energies are too old to change their colors or be the bigger person I feel we're, we're past that this is why you had to make the choice for yourself to move on from this I mean in so many ways you couldn't see it before but now you do everyone does and in so many ways this cannot be saved without the truth coming out I feel in many ways many of you are going to have to take the lead in this situation be the bigger person when it comes to someone who has very narcissistic behaviors because things are falling apart things are falling apart and no one expected you to break loose from this situation I feel something is about to happen that you didn't see coming this could be someone genuinely apologizing for something or something completely falling apart and you're standing there to watch yet I sense all all parties involved will get what is coming to them and you won't have to say a word or lift a finger to receive peace or justice from those who lie to you or about you as it seems this group of people are being forced to see the truth about themselves and the drama they created because it caused some type of dramatic ending for this false environment or third party that sends some type of ripple effect this is why the trouble is coming I feel something is bound to be exposed or you seeing the truth or someone is just about to get the karma they deserve because there's about to be some type of ripple effect from some type of argument someone's falling apart or I feel like the people involved in this third party are starting to turn on each other and this is what's going to send some type of ripple effect of actions and communication coming your way from energies who never thought you'd have the last laugh yet I sense they should be cautious these energies should be very cautious as you've learned a lot you've learned a lot from having to go through this and I don't see you allowing them to get up close enough to hurt you once again besides I see you moving on to bigger and better things and the dysfunction it was never part of the plan I hope you guys have enjoyed this reading